Hey everybody, Damon here. Now, as promised, I have uh, the brand new for 22 uh, upgraded um, Gretsch Electromatic hollow bodies. Now, these guitars have consistently got better in the last 10 years or so. Um, and I was wondering what was gonna happen to try and make them better again, but uh, the clever people at Gretsch have upgraded them once more and they are even better. What's amazing as well, is the walnut finish, which on this 5420 looks amazing. Uh, and the 5422 double cut as well. So let's have a quick uh, talk through the, um, the, you know, the features are the same on both of them that are upgraded. So uh, I'll put one of them down to save my uh, poor old arms. Put the 22 down. Just let me just bring these forward before I do that. Look at this. Look at those guitars. Unbelievable. So very much the absolute core of the Gretsch Electromatic range. Um, the Electromatic range kind of sits in the middle and is the kind of, we're almost at the, not quite at the pro level uh, in terms of the, like the Gretsch Pro guitars, but the feature sets on these, I've certainly used these many times for gigs and sessions and stuff, and they really are astonishingly good value. So you know what a 5420 is, you know that it's a twin, uh, Filtertron powered, etc., etc. So the new things uh, that the clever people at Gretsch have done uh, to make this guitar even better, if it's possible, we'll hear it, we'll see, we'll play it. I have played it, and it is better. Um, the first thing I think really, really important: uh, new pickups. These are the FT5Es. Um, once again, getting even closer to that elusive, true Gretsch Filtertron tone for those of you who don't know what that elusive true Gretsch Filtertron tone is uh, it is a humbucker but uh, full range so you get everything from the coolest firmest bottom end you know to a well-defined mid-range to plenty of sparkle on the top loads and loads of definition pulls all the notes out clarity without ever getting uh, too harsh sounding. So it imparts almost an acoustic kind of clarity uh, and twang to a humbucking tone. But you get loads and loads of warm bass as well. That's why loads of rockabilly players and that kind of stuff use them. They sound killer for anything uh, Americana, rockabilly, rock and roll, jazz, funk, blues, or it just excels, you know, right through to classic rock tones. My advice would be to not really stick it through a dual rectifier. Uh, but if you play through one of them, you're probably not going to play a guitar like this. Okay, so the new pickups, even more clarity, even more definition, uh, more true Gretsch tone. We've got slightly bigger uh, F-holes as well, which I think adds to the acoustic resonance of the guitars. It just looks amazing. Look at this. Real proper 60s Beatles kind of vibe going on here. Uh, we've got the B60 uh, Bigsby. Um, now something that you can't see but is very important. If anyone watched my review of my amazing uh, Brian Sets a Smoke Pro Gretsch, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it now because it's very interesting. Um, <laughs> in that I talk about how uh, Mike Lewis and the guys at Gretsch discovered via Brian Setzer's legendary 6120 that there was a bracing inside the guitar, trestle bracing, that went from the bottom up along and down just under here where the neck joined which looked like I can't really do it like that like a trestle table no one knew it was there but this is something that they discovered uh, and this was one of the real elusive kind of last things that they needed to do to recreate that classic vintage Gretsch sound so we have a trestle what we're calling trestle block bracing in these guitars all of the new electromatic Hollow bodies, 5420, 5422, there's left-handed versions and the 12 string, they all have this trestle block bracing. So all of these things, they increase uh, the sustain of the guitar, it seems to increase the kind of the weight of the tone, it's kind of also a little bit more vintagey uh, and more clarity, more of everything. You know, so that is the Gretsch sound, that is what we have, it's full range. You know, these aren't guitars for people who can't really play, you know? You, you, you've got to be able to play, and if you can, a Gretsch will allow you to pull every last bit of tone out of it. That's what they do. Full range from the lowest lows to the highest highs. And he said, toppest tops. 
but that would make no sense whatsoever. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do both of these on this video, um, and I'm just going to do a few play along examples. I'll do some kind of some clean stuff and some low gain uh, stuff. Then I might do some some a uh, little bit higher gain and some ambienty stuff. But just to give you a real representation of where these two guitars sit and how they sound, um, they should really be. This one should maybe be even a little bit more acoustic. Um, whereas the double cuts tend to be a little bit more mid rangey and a little bit more focused, but we shall see. So, you know, they've done a remarkable job, I think. Um, you know, if you're looking to, you know, not your first look at Gretsch, because that's obviously the streamliners, but if you're looking to get into the real proper Gretsch experience, the Gretsch sound, um, you know, then these are the guitars really that you want to be heading for. Okay, so I think we'll do the 5420 single cut first. Let's pull up some uh, plug in, pull up some cleanish sounds, and do a few playing examples, uh, and there's a few play alongs as well. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, see you.
So, there we go everyone. There's a few uh, playing examples with a few backing tracks. I'm gonna do some more. Um, I know people like to hear these uh, things in a kind of a, a rock and roll, rockabilly, jazzy setting, so I will do some of that. I mean, my initial thoughts are um, kind of as I expected, really. So this guitar, the 5420, sounds a little bit more open, uh, a little bit more acoustic-y, whereas this one sounds louder and fatter and more mid-rangey. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, plenty more to come on these magnificent beasts, so keep watching, tell your friends. Thank you, bye.